Hello everybody, my name is Zethra, and today I have this sliding door for you. Uh, it can slide left, right, or up, and it can be made out of any kind of blocks you like. So, let me demonstrate this quickly. It can slide to the left, and back, up, and down, and of course to the right, and back. Let's see how this works. Okay, here's the sliding door all stripped down. As you can see, we have the door itself, and the three levers that you saw earlier. Each lever is hooked up to an independent module, which controls the door movement in one direction. The lever is attached to an input circuit here, and two sets of command blocks. One set of command blocks controlling the opening sequence, one controlling the closing sequence. I will now go into more specifics. I have here one of the modules, except I've replaced each of the command blocks with a piece of wool to signify what purpose the command block serves. So the green pieces of wool signify command blocks that control the opening sequence. Red pieces of wool signify command blocks that control the closing sequence. And blue pieces of wool signify command blocks that play sound effects, which are the sound effects you heard earlier. Those are optional. Now, I'll explain the input circuit. What this achieves is that when the lever is flipped down, the top set, or the opening set, are turned on, and then when the lever is flipped off, the bottom set or closing set are turned on, and the other turned off. So, when the lever is turned on, it powers this piece of redstone, which powers this repeater, which is on top of a slab, which then goes into three pieces of redstone, and a torch. Now, this torch then powers the bottom set, when this is off, and then when this redstone turns on, the torch depowers, turning off the bottom set. This piece of redstone also powers this piece of redstone, powering the top set, and then when this turns off, the top set is depowered. Now, this has to be a slab, otherwise, when this redstone is powered, it would not connect to this piece of redstone. And this has to be a slab so that this redstone torch does not power this piece of redstone. Also, so this redstone torch does not power this piece of redstone. Otherwise, you would get something like that, and your circuit would not work. If you would like a screenshot of this design for future reference, I suggest you take it now. Each of the repeaters on the bottom are on four ticks, and the one on the left is on one tick of delay. Included with this project is a command list. Now, inside of the command list file, for each module, there are two blocks of commands. The first block of commands handles the top set, or opening set, and you should put the commands in from first to last. The second set, which controls the closing commands, should be put in from last to first. Otherwise, your door might have some very strange behaviors. This concludes my video on my sliding door project. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. In the description, there is a link to my Planet Minecraft page, which has a download for this project. Inside of that download contains an MCA schematic that you can import into your world. It contains this world save, which I showed you, which includes this door and my demonstration. And also the world save of the void world, which contained the stripped down door. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.